What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my car subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Help to decide everybody in between. Help get the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply at fly, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. First on a Leo. Uh, this resonates if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. And only take the messages that resonate with the rest. I received two channel messages as I was um, meditating on your energy, Leo. I heard an affair is about to come out in the form of a pregnancy. That was the first one. And I had a brain fart on the second one. Hold on a second. An affair is about to come out in the form of a pregnancy. That's number one. And give me a second on number two. What's number two? I forget the second one. Give me a second. Let me shovel out. Experience it this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, um, an older Leo femme is about to be a, um, a victim of domestic violence. Um, but I heard it's because of rough sex that she likes to do on, on online dating. Um, I don't know. I don't. I haven't had sex in almost four years. And I definitely don't do online dating anymore. So I, I don't know. Um. How that resonates with some Leo Fem, older Leo Fem in the universe. She'd be 35, 36 or above, but apparently she likes to online date. And um, she's about to be a victim of domestic abuse but and domestic violence. But I heard it's, because, uh, it's something to do with online dating. So um, serial online dating. Serial online dating. She likes to ser serially online date. And she's about to be a victim of domestic abuse or violence, which doesn't, you know, I, just because you online date, serial online date, that gives no reason and rhyme for domestic abuse and violence. And that's just the truth. But I heard it's because of rough sex, too. So I don't know legally how that's going to pan out because apparently she likes rough sex. And it sounds like it's going to get out of hand or it did get out of hand. Sounds like it's upcoming, but how that resonates and applies. All right, we have uh, number one could be very, or number nine could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number one or nine could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number one, number nine. Also, too, um, um, I heard, um, uh, what was the first one? Uh, a pregnancy is about to be, a, I mean, an affair is about to be revealed in the form of a, pre a pregnancy. So that could be you. In an affair, Leo, or somebody you're connected to, but somebody's having an affair, whether it's a Leo or somebody connected to a Leo, and it's about to be revealed in the form of a pregnancy. Number one, nine, or 45 could be very significant numbers in one's life. One, nine, 45. Um, Daisy, Gerbera Daisy, which this is my favorite flower, you guys. Like, ever, 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 just saying. Purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. Fitch Nat Hand.
For one, you're about to finally be recognized. High honor. Finally. You really deserve it. For one, you're about to be highly recognized. You, um, high honor. I heard you really deserve it. So I think you're going to be very cheerful. Um, we have purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. So I think you were innocent in a situation or somebody was trying to make you out like you wasn't innocent in a situation or something like that. I didn't hear that, but uh, I definitely think you're going to be very happy. Um, so podium steps are very significant. Podium uh, steps are very significant. So something to do with podium steps. Sounds like it's going to be very public because there are podium steps. So something to do with podium steps. Um, I think it's going to make you very happy. Um, there's something to do with innocence here or being innocent in a situation. I'm feeling because we have purity and innocence. So, or something to do with child or children or something like that with the purity and the innocence. But um, something to do with podium steps and um, it's going to make you very happy. It's kind of high honor. I heard it should have come a long time ago, but you're about to get it. So uh, for some, you could be dealing with Sagittarius possibly. We have Sag energy or not. Or you get a Sag in your chart. And we have Throne. Yeah, I didn't even see that one. Throne. Your potential is endless. Um, yeah, I heard you should have been recognized a long time ago, Leo. But you're about to be recognized, whoever you are. Obviously, that's a high vibrational Leo there. Um, I don't think that's somebody that's in the middle of an affair. Um, pregnant. Um, just saying. Or somebody that likes a serial date and um, some kind of domestic violence or domestic abuse or rough sex or something. Um, which, hey... I ain't, I ain't hating at you. I love rough sex too, but um, not serial dating rough sex, and that's just the truth. I did that about a decade ago, and I was I was done after like a couple years, and that's just the truth. I had my feel, and then I was done. Sag, find a new meaning. Nine weeks, nine months. A Sagittarius is about to get a huge ass wake up call. Huge wake up call. A significant hole in a wall is about to become very significant. For some, their wall. For some, somebody else's wall. A particular Sagittarius is about to get a huge ass wake up call. A particular hole uh, for one side in their wall. For one side in somebody else's wall. It's about to become very significant. So Sag energy strong in here. Whether this Sag, it doesn't sound like the Sag put the hole in their wall or somebody else's wall, but somehow a hole in the Sag's wall or somebody else's wall is about to give a Sag a wake up call. So find a new meaning. Um, I think the Sag is about to get a wake up call and realize something is not the way they think it is or somebody is portraying it to be. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, how the hole in the wall is about to get there or already is there, I'm not sure. But this side has to plug it in how it resonates. But something about a hole in their wall for one of them and a hole in somebody else's wall, I think they're about to find a new meaning in some kind of situation, possibly. A very angry conversation with a Scorpio is about to wake a Sagittarius up in a huge ass way. Very angry conversation with a Scorpio is about to wake a Sag up in a huge ass way. So some kind of very angry conversation with a Scorpio. Mask on a fifth Scorpio. They can have Scorpio in any aspects of their charts. Uh, we are in Leo's reading, but that's what I'm pulling in. A Sag is about to have a very angry conversation with a Scorpio. Whoever this Scorpio is to the Sag, for some you be Sag, for some you be Scorpio, for some you be Leo looking in on this or hearing about it or what have you, what have you. But a Sag is about to have a very angry conversation with Scorpio. I think Sag is about to have a wake-up call, find new meaning in the situation. 
uh, or have a wake-up call about the angry conversation, uh, whoever the Scorpio is, to the Sagittarius. Beginnings. Running the shit. Running the shit is what I just heard. Running the shit. So one of you guys is running the shit or somebody you're connected to is running the shit. And we have beginnings. Um, so I think new cycle changes have already began for you, Leo, or they're about to begin for you. I think one of you guys might be a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or you run your own life or you're running something. Uh, maybe it's a business. Maybe it's businesses. But you're running the shit or somebody you're connected to is running the shit. Cycle changes. You plug it in how it resonates. I feel independent energy here. Um, if this resonates for you, um, very independent energy, which is beautiful energy to be in. Uh, free from abuse and violence and um, exploitation and etc. 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 A Sagittarius is about to find out they're pregnant. Baby number three. They never thought they could have more kids. They're about to find out they're pregnant. It's about to change a lot of people's lives. Very shocking. Damn, Leo, you're pulling in such heavy Sag. Sag energy. One Sag is about to find out they're pregnant. Her baby number three. So three. Um, pregnant number three. Um, whoever this is obviously a Sag femme. They already have two kids in the universe, like live kids. We're not talking about miscarriages here, like live kids. So pregnant with baby number three. Uh, I heard the Sag thought they could never, the Sag fam never thought they could have any more kids, but they're about to find out they're pregnant. So they're either already pregnant in the universal space or they're about to get pregnant. But I heard it's about to change a lot of people's lives, the pregnancy of the Sagittarius. For some, maybe you have impregnated the Sag, Leo. You plug in how it resonates. Um, or you know this Sag, however, whoever the Sag is to you. But they already have two kids in the universal space. They're about to find out they're pregnant with baby number three. I heard they never thought they could have any more kids. So I definitely think they're an older Sag, possibly. Or they had some kind of pre-existing condition where they thought they could never have any more kids. Um, they could have Sag any aspects of their charts. But it's about to change a lot of people's lives. The pregnancy of baby number three, apparently, with this Sag fib. Um, new beginnings for the Sag fam. Maybe new beginnings for you. Maybe, I feel for one, you might have impregnated her or you're about to. How that resonates in applause. For one, you're about to move far distances for your career. And it's about to be the best thing that ever happened to you. The company is about to really treat you right. You're a Leo fam. Okay. For one, you're a Leo femme and you're about to move far distances uh, for your career, I heard. And I heard the company, whatever company you work in, it sounds like currently in the energetic space, Leo femme, I heard the um, company's going to treat you right. So new beginnings. Um, it hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming. Um, I think you're going to be a position of authority with the throne energy in some of these situations for these Leo, uh, possibly for some of these Leo femmes about to move far distances. Heard for your career. And I heard the company's going to treat you right. And it's going to be the, one of the best things that ever happened to you. Um, and the company. And the company. It's going to be one of the best things that ever happened for you and the company. So, um, it hasn't happened yet, ma'am. New beginnings. Congratulations. Throne number 45 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 45. Throne. Your, your potential is endless. For one, you have a lot of experience under your belt. A lot. The uh, Your current company is about to treat you very right. You're about to move far distances. If you accept this offer, it's going to be a very, very, very good offer. It will be a position of high authority. Wow, this is a good one, Leo. So, this hasn't happened yet. I think for a lot of you guys, it probably stems into that message over here. But you plug in how it resonates. But, um... Leo Femme Energy, moving far distances for your career. It has not happened yet. But you're, whoever you are, whatever company you're currently in, if this resonates for you, they really value you. Um, I feel for some of you guys, you run companies that did not value you in the past or you were around people that did not value you in, you in the past. Um, 
either didn't see your worth, growth, and potential or refused to see it. How there is an ace in applause. But wherever you're at now, Leo, fam, they do see it. And I heard they're about to treat you very right. Meaning, I think they're going to do relocation bonuses or bonus, I'm feeling. Or a sign-on bone. Well, you're already with the company. You're already with the company. So not a sign-on. But I think like a relocation or extra benefits or um, some kind of incentive or incentives. Um, and I heard whoever is about to move far distances with the new beginnings, Leo Fem, for your career. Obviously, if you choose to accept it. But it sounds like you probably probably will. But only you know if you're going to do it or not. It's going to be a position of authority. So I'm thinking manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. Uh, energy is what I'm feeling. You plug in how it resonates. Wow. This is really nice. Let me see if I get anything else. When you move far distances, Leo fam, a Capricorn is about to try to come back. Know this. When you move far distances, Leo fam, a Capricorn is going to try to come back. Know this. So you plug it in, how it resonates, um, how that resonates and applies. For one, it's your child. For one, it is an ex-lover. For one, it is a child. And for one, it's an ex-lover. So um, you have to plug in. And one is an ex-boss. One is an ex boss. Oh my, what? Yikes! I'm sure, they're ex boss for a reason. Just saying. Um, <laughs> you plug in how it resonates. So, when you move far distances, and this hasn't happened for you yet, Leo fam, but when this happens, obviously, uh, it sounds like a lot of people are going to know about it, or you're going to speak on it, and a lot of people know about it, but somehow a lot of people are going to know about it. For some, one of these may occur, for some, two or two plus may occur, for some, maybe none of these occur, but heavy caps energy in here. They're going to try to come back into your life, it sounds like, whether it's your kid, whether it's a masculine or femme caps kid, that could be an adult kid or a minor kid, I'm feeling, how that resonates, um, or an ex-lover, masculine or femme ex-lover caps, or a ex-boss caps, masculine or femme. Heavy caps energy, you're going to try to come back into your life. When this happens, though, so when the good shit start happening for you, now they want to come back. Not when you're going through hard times or not really great times only the great times just just mind you just saying just saying i'm just throwing that out there okay of course you can choose to accept these people back into your life if you choose to um but of course that's your free will and everybody has it so just saying just saying all right let me see if i get anything else Someone that has been getting very great pleasure, intentionally trying to keep you suppressed. It's about to backfire on them. They're about to be suppressed. They're about to ever regret they suppressed you in the past. Someone that has intentionally been trying to keep you suppressed, Leo. I feel you can be masculine pimp, Leo. Have Leo in any aspects of your charts. But somebody already energetic space energy past energy has been intentionally trying to keep you suppressed in some shape form or fashion whether that's career business or or relationship or what have you what have you but they've intentionally been trying to keep you stuck stagnant suppressed um energy but now but soon the energy is about to shift and they're about to be the one to be suppressed and i heard they're about to ever regret that they in the past they suppressed you because now it's about to start happening to them I didn't hear a sign on this person, but um, new beginnings all across the board, though, is what I'm saying. It sounds like, for one, you're about to start moving forward when you were so slow and stagnant and stuck in the past. And it sounds like for one of you guys, one person or people that did that intentionally did this to you in the past, now they're about to start getting stuck and suppressed. But new beginnings all across the board. All right, I'm closing it out. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and I'll say.